Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to run CRUD REST API, Fast API MySQL. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's paste this code into our main file. So just copy and paste this. So it will give you the full-fledged API section for the CRUD. Let's save this. Let's update the data. So user name, it's root and uh, the password is different one. So let's me update this. This is the connection details and this is the test DB. Okay, so whatever where we have the username, control F, the username. Okay, that should be control A replace with name. Okay, replace all. Let's save this. Okay, and let's begin with. So from typing, we are importing the list. Import list typing, and from the fast API, we are using from this fast API HTTP exception and the depends we are using from the fast API. We are importing. We are importing the base model from the Pydentic and a IO MySQL. If you haven't installed this, please install it because the last video I have installed this one. Okay. So initialization of the fast API pinending model basically for the response of the class. So basically whenever uh, like this is a model acting like whenever you have a response in the in this format. So you can use the and also it will do the validation also. So both the things the response and the validations. So in, in the format it will return. So the name should be string email should be string ID should be optional. Okay, so none is, that is for used. So dependency for getting the database connection. So how you can connect the database. This is the method. Okay, next we have how to get all the items. So this is the list like to start from all users and uh, curse here cursor. So fetch all items by default, putting the empty array and here duping that one and just uh, putting over here. Okay, so let's check this one and here you go with the fast api and now here we have to get all the items by default so try it out execute so here you can see that the all items whatever we have just fetch it out over here okay so here you can see and here you can see the results okay so whatever data we have just we have fetched over here so this is the get request then we have a post request so try it out with this one so here required the name so i will put rr and here i will put this at the rate gmail.com so when i try to execute this the record is inserted with the id 13 okay so if i just reload this one id 13 is added over here so let's move to the create records okay so this is the next one that is create operation items response model that is item we are using and depends on the so the database connection okay so async db.cursor then execute that insert the users with the name and the email and then we have uh, whatever we have id because in the response model object we have id so we are whatever id we have in the cursor so we are just assigning into that item id and returning that one okay next we have the read operation on the behalf of the id right so, so let's start from the user where the condition the item id we required okay if it if the row is not there then it will receive an error that is status score 404 that item not found if the item is found so map the fetch data to the fields of the item model like this okay and return the item so here we go with the 13 record i want to fetch so here we go with the item details with 13 currently which i'm adding trying out so here i need the 13 record and just execute it okay so here you can see that the 13 item with this one because this the item which we have inserted in the last in the last one right so here you can see that we will fetch the we have fetched the record successfully okay moving to the next one that is update part so i'm going to update the records okay so update this user set name where id should be and accepting the name and the email okay so let's check this so here we have the put request let's go with the put request id should be 13 and what i'm trying to update is uh, like the name should be 
let's suppose name should be test and the, this I want to update at the rate gmail.com so let's try to send it and execute this okay so here it is updated let's have a look so this is updated right so this is how you can update operation put by id okay so the next one that is delete so just use the await with the db cursor and delete from the users where id should be and commit that result and the message would be item delete successfully let's add the 13th record over here in the delete section the last one that is here go with this one delete item id is 13 and let's try to execute this and delete it and let's go and check and the item is deleted right so this is how you can do the current rest operations using mysql okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day.